2017, millions of people visited Genius for the knowledge and the meaning behind their favorite songs. And here are the top 10 most viewed lyrics of the year. First up, at number 10, is Kendrick Lamar's Elements. If I gotta slap a pussy ass nigga, I'ma make it look sexy. I gotta go hard on the bitch, I'ma make it look sexy. And number nine, we jump across the pond for the meme that took the internet by storm. Big Shaq, the one and only. Man's not hot. Never hot. Scrap. Boom. What began as a one off BBC One Extra freestyle by comedian Michael Dappa as his character Big Shaq became a single, a video, and even a beef with Shaquille O'Neal. Roadman Shaq. This is how you spit, find me swipe in the black heart. I got a leak in the backyard. And despite all of his success, Big Shaq maintains that he is anything but hot. What kind of question is that? Man's not dumb, man's not hot, man don't get cold. Put me next to the sun, I won't be hot. I'll still have my jacket on. For number eight, we stay in the UK. The club isn't the best place to find the lovers, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, tripping fast, and then we talk slow. Shape of You is one of the biggest singles of Ed Sheeran's career. The cut spent 12 weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100 and 33 weeks in the top 10, a new record. The dancehall vibe fits considering Ed initially wrote it for a Caribbean queen. We were writing this song and I was like, this would really work for Rihanna. And then I started singing lyrics like putting Van the Man on the jukebox and I was like, well, she's not really going to sing that, is she? <laughs> we head to Atlanta for spots seven through four. Raindrops, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot pot. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. Bad and Bougie was the group's first Hot 100 number one song. And the opening lines reference a couple things the trio loves to rap about. Jewelry and cars. As a group, they've said drop top over 50 times. Here are a few examples. Pull up in a drop top Lambo. All the kids that scream out bingo. Then you see me pulling up in a drop top, I made it. Drop top on the web. We stay with Migos for number six. Hey, mama told me, hey, not the same word. Mama, 17, five, same color t-shirt, white. Mama told me, hey, not the same word. Mama. Sitting at number five is the chorus for Childish Gambino's Redbone. No say single about infidelity is the highest charting song of his career. The cut draws its inspiration from the 1970s. We started on the album where I started listening to Donald sent me a bunch of like Funkadelics albums. Like I was more kind of raised up of like jazz and, and blues. I didn't really experience that 70s psychedelic music so it's all very organic. And number four is the chorus from fellow ATL and Future's biggest single. Yeah. 2017 was a great year for Future. In March, he became the first artist in Billboard's history to have back-to-back -back number one album releases. Number three brings us back to Compton. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke, put little baby in the spiral. Some saw Kendrick Lamar's humble as a shot at the rappers firing shots at him, but Lamar said it was meant to be introspective, saying, quote, that's why I did a song like that, where I just don't give a fuck, or I'm telling the listener, you can't fuck with me, but ultimately, I'm looking in the mirror. We head to Puerto Rico for number two, Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee's Despacito featuring Justin Bieber. The Justin Bieber assisted remix spent 16 weeks at number one, tying it with Mariah Carey and Boys to Men's One Sweet Day for the record of longest running single atop the Billboard Hot 100. Fonsi broke down his opening bar in May. You're, you're the magnet and I'm the metal. You know, um, so it's just kind of like, it's, it's happening, man. We can't control it. We're coming together and nothing can stop us. And finally, the number one most viewed lyric of the year belongs to Philadelphia's Lil Uzi Vert and his song, Exo Tour Life. She said, baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Lil Uzi Vert's 2017 was unlike many. His project Love Is Rage 2 debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, and SoundCloud named it Album of the Year. He also picked up a Grammy nomination for Best New Artist. EXO Tour Life is about Vert's turbulent relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Britney Bird. The chorus confused many, but the song's producer, TM88, explained its meaning. Everybody else say it make them feel like their friends are dead, but I know the concept. They was like, nah, bro, I think he's talking about dead presidents. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm Jacques Morin with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. See you next year. Peace. Phantom, that's all right. It's all white.